Hey, what's up guys? Right now I am at uh, the practice and I was gonna start with my power chart over here. Now, as you can see, it's empty because I'm gonna start trying to fill it out and I'm just doing this little video to show you guys how I fill out the power chart. So, over here, if you look very carefully, it starts with backspin. It's right here. Backspin. So I'm gonna start with backspins and see how many I can do. Let's go. Okay, so I managed to do a lot of backspins. So that means I can, I'm good at them and I can say that I have continuous backspins. So I will put an X where that went. So I gotta get my thing in my bag, my pen, and I'm gonna mark it down. Here. An X for backspin. So next up is windmill. And uh, I just ate two big slices of pizza. That's why there's nothing left. There's Harry in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try windmill and I haven't done it for a long time. But the goal isn't to be the best at windmills, but to see how many I can do. Now it doesn't mean, can I do 20, can I do 30, but does it mean, can I at least do one or can I do it continuous or can I not do it at all? And that's what it's about. So here we go, let's try windmill. Yeah, so I am going to put in windmill over here. There's an X for windmill. But you know what? I also did windmill to backspin. So I can put a little check mark over here. Windmill to backspin. Booyah! Now it's time to do belly mills. I haven't done belly mills forever. And I don't do them very good, but it's on the list, so I'm at least gonna give it a try. Here we go. Right about now, I'm gonna try baby mills. Haven't done baby mills in a thousand years, but let's uh, let's give it a try, okay? So next up is uh, tombstones, but I've never ever been able to do tombstones before. So normally I would just skip it, but because I'm doing this as an example to show you, then I'm gonna do tombstone anyways, okay? Just to show you me trying it. No tombstone. Okay, so I have ugly belly mills, but I'm gonna mark it down anyways. I got baby mills, yes. I'm gonna mark that down. But tombstones, I ain't gonna mark down anything because I can't do it. Next up, tap mills. Okay, so that's it for the mills. Let me just add my tap mills here. Tap mills, yes. And uh, that's it for the mills today. Uh, I'm gonna be doing it to the rest of this list. But I'm taking it slow, 40 years old, trying to get power back. Really hard to do. I'm doing it for my brother Mouse, uh, who passed away. Uh, he was a power head, he was like my, my power leg in battle. You know what I mean? My right power leg, you know? Like, when I had to land that devastating blow, I would send him in, and, uh, but he passed away. And uh, I'm just doing this in memory of him. I also put in memory of him what you call a memorial b-boy sneaker. Uh, it basically it, it is him, right? It embodies who he was or, and also embodies who he could have been. If, if breaking could have made a living, he would have kept doing it, but he didn't because you know he had a, a, a daughter at a young age, got caught up in the street life and stuff like that. So, but he was my brother nevertheless. And uh, the big thing about it too is the proceeds 
are gonna be going uh, to his daughter, right? Like for her education. Because uh, when you pass away, you want to leave something for your family. And uh, I, th I feel like I want to be the... I want to lead by example, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah guys, thanks for watching this ghetto little video. And uh, I just wanted to show it to you because I'm teaching you guys how to train power. Uh, I used to train power back in the days. And, uh, but you know, I'm too old to do it now. But if I was training it, I would train it like this. And this is how I got it, because I never thought I could. So yeah guys, don't be afraid to do the power chart, alright? Peace.